we're going to take a look at a very closely related function to the VLOOKUP. It's kind of the brother or sister function of the VLOOKUP. This is called HLOOKUP. Now, you might recall in the previous lecture, the VLOOKUP, V, st stood for vertical. In this case, this is the HLOOKUP, which stands for horizontal. Now, really, the difference between the two really depends on the layout of your data. Now, let me just revisit the VLOOKUP for just a moment. I'm going to hop back to Master Employee List. When you tell the VLOOKUP to go look into a list for a specific value, it looks into the first column vertically. That's why it's called the VLOOKUP. An HLOOKUP, on the other hand, horizontal, will look into a list such as this. This is the Master Inventory List. This one will look horizontally through the first row of the list. So it just depends on how your data is laid out, whether the value you're looking for is vertically, it's like a part of the records, or perhaps it's a header, a horizontal header at the top of your list that you're looking for. Other than that, they're practically identical. Take a look. This is the H lookup. So I'm going to go back to the H lookup tab. And what I'd like to do here is I want to capture the inventory for the different warehouses for this product called XP200. Now on the master inventory list, we've got all the different products. There's the XP200 and the different units, the stock that we have for the different warehouses. So here's the lookup. I'm going to do warehouse inventory two. Number one's already done for you. There's the example. Now I'm inside of cell B6. So once again, back to my formulas tab, back to lookup and reference, and I'm going to find H lookup. There it is. Now this opens up the argument window. And if you take a moment, look this over, this window looks almost identical to the V lookup that we just got done talking about in the prior lecture. So first thing it needs to know, what am I looking for? Well, my lookup value is going to be XP200, B3. The next thing it wants to know is, great, I'm looking for this, but where am I going to look for it? So the table array is going to be on the master inventory list, and I'm going to go grab this list here from A2 down to G5. Now, I've told it what it's looking for. I told it where to find it. Remember, H lookup horizontal. It's now traveling horizontally through the first row. It finds XP200. Now it wants to know, hey, which row, row index num, which row do you want to return back once I find it? Well, for me, there's XP200. I want warehouse inventory number two. So I'm going to get row number one, two, three. I'll tell it row index num is three. And then range lookup, just like before, it is optional. But in most cases, I use it. I'm going to say false because I want it to find the exact match. And that's it. I hit OK. And there's my 110, Warehouse Inventory 2. And if I hop over just to confirm, XP200, Warehouse number 2 is 110. That's it. Four little things. Very, very similar. You master one of these, you've mastered both of them. And remember, it just depends on how your data is laid out. Really dictates which one you use. Are you traveling vertically, like a standard kind of setup of a list? Or are you looking at perhaps headers that are horizontal along the top of your list? Try this one out. Open up the exercise file, hop over to, to the, oops, the HLOOKUP function worksheet, and find warehouse two inventory and warehouse three inventory. Try this out.